Welcome back to the channel and if you've come here to be impressed then you've come to the right video because I've dove into the Trailmakers workshop to find some awesome impressive or just ridiculous creations and we're starting off with honeybee number 006 by hungry duckling and I don't even know what this thing does yet but it already just looks awesome on its own look at those cables hanging down to the back there I don't know what that's all about oh you know what that is it's probably an ammo container that belt feeds the ammo to the gatling gun hands at least that's my assumption. Let's push buttons and see what happens. All right, pushing W. It seems to... <laughs> well, this is interesting. Just dragging my toes across the ground. All right, there we go. Space goes up. Oh, I have a cockpit thing here. I should be able to close that somehow. I don't know how. I'm just going to keep pushing buttons and we'll find out eventually. Okay, there's the guns. All right. Oh, I have some... Ow! <laughs> okay, I can aim the guns up, down, and I can turn my torso left and right. Doesn't really... It's just my legs that ends up turning. Uh, Z must be it. There we go. This is this final form. This is what this thing is supposed to look like. Well, this thing is pretty cool. I especially like how fun it is to fly myself into vertical pillars. Oh, look at all those pieces. All right, up next, something completely different. <laughs> this is called Wormy by King Blue. And I, it just thought it looked kind of silly, so I wanted to give it a try and spawn it in. This is actually pretty good. Look at the face, though. The face is amazing. I love that face. And it is very wormy. Oh, whoops. I, I really got to watch where I'm going in this game. All right, let me just... Now it's a ocean worm. Underwater worm. Sea snake. Oh, he kicked me out of the seat. All right, wormy here does really, really well on flat ground. I don't think it is very well designed for uh, off-roading, though. But let's test it out on this hill just to see what happens. Yeah, see, no, it is definitely not designed for off-roading. It is meant to flex in one direction only. This worm is only flexible on the horizontal plane. It cannot flex vertically whatsoever. All right, well, let's crash Wormy into an explosive barrel and see what happens. Oh, that actually wasn't nearly as bad as I expected. I mean, he lost... <laughs> I can see he lost his mouth, but now he just looks surprised instead of angry. All right, up next, we have a warg by Nuclear Halfling 20, and it has one tooth. This is a one tooth animal, one gigantic tooth on the front, but you better watch out because if he uses that tooth on you, it's probably going to be a one hit kill. And, uh, and there's just three buttons on this thing. Oh, okay, this isn't exactly. Oh, and it broke itself. All right, I think it just needs it. It just needs a chance. It just needs to get in a nice groove, nice level. Oh, come on, you can do it. There we go. Level off. There we go. Look at that running animation. I mean, it uses a heavy use of. Ooh, a heavy use of gimbals uh, to keep it up upright. It's not using normal gravitational running where you actually put all the pressure on your legs. Uh, it's using gimbals to try to keep itself weightless and just push itself like swimming across the ground almost. But the, an the running animation though is uh, very programmed very with a lot of detail. A lot of detail in this running animation. I actually wanna look at it a little bit closely. All right, so it does seem to be the front and the back. The, f the back legs go together and the front legs go together. I was wondering if there was like a some type of canter or like gallop motion like a horse. But it seems to just be back and front work together, which simplifies it a little bit. All right, up next is the Red-Eyed Tree Fog uh, by Out of Ducks. So I guess this person ran out of ducks, so they had to build a frog. But uh, according to the description, they, they paid a lot of attention to the mechanical workings of a frog leap. And there's only one button, so I guess I just gotta press the leap button. So let's uh, let's look at this animatronic here and see how it functions. Whoa! Okay. I was expecting it to look cool, but I didn't realize it was gonna be that good. That is really sad. Not only does it look amazing, but the functionality is there too. All right, I wanna do, I, I gotta do this a bunch more. Okay, all right, well, I gotta, how do I land right? There must be like a perfect amount of time to hold the legs out and then bring them in. Like I keep wanting to nosedive for some, you know what? We need a flat surface here. Here's a flat surface. There we go. This will give us the optimal chance. All right, that's definitely better. Man, I am really surprised at how much distance this gets because I don't think this is using any other aid for the jumping mechanics. I think it's purely the leg power. Like I was talking about the runner use the gimbal jets to make it lighter. This thing, I think what you see is actually what you get. They put the feet like underneath the waist and then they push from there. So well done. 
All right, that was even, that was way more impressive than I was expecting. I mean, the aesthetic is great and the the animation is like perfect. All right, up next is the Ferranis H3 Evo by FRZ, and this thing just looks like some kind of supercar hovercraft of sorts. I I don't really know what to expect. Okay, it's just it's going. Okay, it stays at this altitude. I thought it was going up. Oh no, turn! Oh, I'm going through the woods. Ow! Ow! All right, I'm fine. Look, I'm still perfectly functional. I actually kind of am. All right, well, I need to get out of the woods, though. <laughs> All right, left shift. Whoa, okay, we could just take off. What are you doing? All right, uh, we're at this altitude now. Is it just gonna level off? All right, left control probably goes down. Man, I gotta be honest, some of the programming in the creations nowadays in Trailmakers, it is really well done. Like this thing, it, I'm basically setting my altitude. When I press shift a little bit, you can see now I've just chosen a higher altitude and it levels off automatically. If I hold down control, I'll go down, and then when I release control, it levels off at a new altitude. Now it's just gonna stay here. What is left alt gonna do? Left alt actually turns off all of my uh, my UFO engines, so then I actually fall out of the sky. You don't see it as much from here because it's not a big reference, but there we go. Now you can see I'm falling, and then it solidifies my position. Number one, I don't really know what number one is doing. It seems to be raising me up a little bit. And then shift raises me up by pointing my nose up. Well, that's interesting. Uh, oh, and then there is actually a magnet on this thing. So I could theoretically go over and pick up a container. Let's see how it does. All right, here's the containers. Whoa, whoa, okay. Braking is another experience too. I have reverse and forwards, but if I'm going a certain amount of speed and then I press uh, S to brake, you can see it actually enables air brakes, but only after a certain uh, minimum speed. So another another fancy level of programming there. All right, now let's see if I can go down. There we go. Pick this up. All right. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Pick it up. Ow, that kind of hurt, didn't it? All right, up. So number one is just go up vertically. I'm just, oh no, I dropped it accidentally. I pressed the wrong button. Oh no, I'll just pick it back up. I kind of have to do it like a parking spot, like pulling into a parking spot. Got to get, got to get lined up with the lines. All right, that wasn't that great. I had it perfect the first time, dang it. All right, now I'll go forward. Lift up, please. There we go. And that is what a uh, magnetic retrieval of a container is like. And then we can drop the container off at the ship and completely miss and put it in the water. That missed by so far. I was going way faster than I thought. Whee! All right, up next, we have the Bauplan NR861 by Kruger Daniela. And this thing makes some great use of the new decals feature. Look at the muddy paint job on the wheels and stuff. This does a really good job at making it look like it has uh, like a tank track type wheel system, but they're made of wheels, actually multiple types of wheels too, which is really interesting. This is a very post-apocalyptic type uh, creation. I like it a lot. Not, I mean, just, it's just what you see is what you get. Very simple controls. It just drives around and looks awesome. Triple suspension on the wheels on both the front and the back, or I guess I should call them tracks. Oh, look at the spider decal on the side too, just for that added aspect of, uh, the added cool factor. You gotta, you gotta have cool factor in the post-apocalypse. All right, but how does it handle getting some air? You know, this thing is actually surprisingly slow. <laughs> With all these wheels, I mean, I guess it's probably intentional. If these were uh, more tank treads, then you would expect it to be not that fast. Or maybe, maybe it could be fast. It could be fast if it was just, you know, you can go fast with tanks sometimes. Oh my goodness. I am trying to spawn in something called my house, which I think is someone's, I'm assuming it's a replica of the house that someone actually lives in, but it is 2,042 blocks out of the 700 complexity limit. So I'm gonna have to enable some mods here. All right, complexity mod should do it. All right, there, I've just increased the complexity up to 3,000. All right, let's take a first person walkthrough of Vodka's house. Okay, interesting entryway here. This field of view is, <laughs> this field of view is very not right. This doesn't feel right. All right, we go through the doorway and we got, what is this? This is a massive kitchen. Is this the kitchen? You live in a mansion? Is this really your house or is this your dream house? All right, big outdoor eating area, open air. What? What is this? Is this a sauna? Like a shower and like a sauna area? Oh, what? 
what kind of house is this? All right, we got like a, a spiral staircase, it looks like. There we go. Going up to, looks like your office or bedroom. Oh, this is your bedroom. Very nice. Nice setup you got here. Is that liquid cooling? All right, we even got like a TV next to your, in front of your bed too. Okay, is there more to this upstairs? Why do I feel like this is kind of lit? There's, I feel like there's more. Oh, what is this? Oh, you forgot to fill in the rest of your house. All right, maybe they're, maybe they're still doing construction like I've been doing at my, at my house. I know what it feels like to have the space, but it's not filled in quite with what you want it to be filled in yet. All right, and then up last, did you just see that? This bird just folded its wings in front of you. Look at the paint job. It, there's so many details on this. There are so many good details on this. This looks so good. Okay, so this is the Metal Burgies Condor Crow by Metal Burger. So you can see its wings are folded up right now. Um, it 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 makes noise. And okay, it's got it can turn its head and look up and down and stuff. And I'm I'm assuming space is gonna make me fly. Okay, there we go. The wings open. It, I'm not pressing anything right now. Like this is hands free. I'm just, I'm just along for the ride. It so, it just started soaring on its own. I still haven't pressed anything. It is just soaring gracefully. All right, I'm turning to the right. I'm not, all right, I'm just gonna tell you right now, all I'm doing is WASD controls, okay? I'm not pressing anything else. So all of this flapping and stuff, it's doing it on its own. I'm trying to turn to the right. I'm trying to go back to the aircraft carrier. Look, it's, it's deciding on its own when to flap and when not to flap. Wait, wait, what are you gonna do here? Pull up. Okay, that was me. I pulled up using, I just pressed S for a second and it pulled up automatically. All right, turning and then, oh, then I can dive down and pulling up. This is so interesting. This thing has so much programming in it. Okay, hold on, let me turn back around. I'm gonna go back towards the aircraft carrier and try to land. All right, go back this way. Oh, we're losing altitude. All right, pull up. Okay, that worked fine. All right, now if I press space, I should stop flying, right? All right, here we go. I'm kind of hovering. No way. It is gonna do... It has a landing flapping animation, a separate animation for landing. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh okay. It had to balance itself. It did all that automatically. I wasn't pressing anything to land. This is crazy. Oh, the wings are not liking themselves. So yeah, it flaps to go up and then when I want to go down and turn it off, you can see it changes its orientation and then it has a different flapping animation to land itself. Like, I don't know how that works. I know there's logic and sensors. There's altitude sensors probably. There's probably speed sensors that detect what direction you're going. And then it communicates these limbs to get, to program certain animations. But that's kind of the tough thing that I haven't learned very well in Trail Makers is how to get the same joint, the same, uh, like, the same programmable piece to do multiple types of actions. D different types of flexing if I want different degrees for certain conditions. Uh, I'm not very good at that. I don't really know how that works very well in this game. But this person, Metal Burger, has apparently mastered it. They've mastered it. That is a mind-blowing creation right there. So which one of these creations impressed you the most or was your favorite in general? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, you'll probably enjoy some more stuff you can find on the channel right here on the end screen. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.